I'm the Cut New and thank you guys for waiting for me to come back live as we're now back here in the end. I hope you guys are having a good day today so far. It's been a chilly Thursday. I really hope that you guys are bundled up because things are starting to become a little more colder here as fall is starting to become um, slowly, slowly going to that of winter. At least winter for those who hasn't had the snow hit on them yet. But anyways, I hope that you guys actually had a good day today so far. I hope that you guys actually um, are doing all right. We all got snow here. Oh, dearie. Well, at least bundle up and keep warm. It will be lovely to actually see snow again. But yes, um, I saw the Rune Factory 3 special for $30 on my Switch. Oh, great, wonderful. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I have not had any snow yet on my end. Well, I'm sure it'll be there pretty soon, or I think. If you actually live somewhere in the, uh, in, in the coast, um, unless you live in a place that where snow is very prevalent, then yeah. So, well, enough of that, uh, well, enough of that lovely, um, interaction. Today is the day where we actually get to, um, come together so we can act, um, Continue where we left off when it comes to um, the commission we started off back on Tuesday. And that one is working on Shadow's commission, where where we last left off, we actually did the rough sketch when it comes to um, the commission. And we tried our best to make the refined sketch, but um, my wrist at the time was not um, A-OK -okay because I... Um, strained it the other last night when I was doing a crochet project, but it's much better than it is right now, if you will. I'm doing my best to take good care of it ever since that day. And now, without further ado, why don't we actually try to get to work onto the podium? I'm just gonna go ahead and undeaf and unmute in Discord. And let's get to work on... Oh! Um, okay. You forget you saw that. Okay, so, um, this is gonna be the commission we are talking about for day, and no, it's not really a fire rock, but it's meant to be for, um, okay, context time. Um, this is for the campaign that, um, Steve and I, that I'm a part of, alongside with Steve, Dave, and Runia where we actually are part of a game called Wild Beyond the Witch Light. And this one is, um, and this little art piece I did before going in live is kind of based on the interaction where we had to, um, how should I actually say this? Put, um, da, um, t try to take care of a animated coals who are on fire and try to burn a building down so the party has to do something about it. And um, during the whole interaction, I actually just said this to my DM. I'm sorry, but I can't help but actually imagine that, um, the, the house gremlin noises each time these co these coals move. And it just made the interaction slash fight a hundred times much better because the, the way how they move is just um, fuck fucking thing and also is hilarious especially when it comes to uh, my boyfriend's character um, who uh, especially when Steve when he borrowed Lou at the time got a crit hit when it comes to uh, one of these little tykes and as such I decided to finally make the time to make um to do the um as such, I really I finally got the time to actually draw out the fire um the coal gremlins, if you will. It well, a second, I thought that was actually the gremlin. No, I mean we were trying to fight animated coals, but then in the middle of the, of this um fight slash um controlling the the animated coals, I just told Bearwald. I'm sorry, but I can't help but imagine the house gremlin noises every time these coals move. And I implemented the house gremlin noises onto the interaction since, and it just made the thing um, even funnier. And Lunar actually bring, brought up a good question. Aren't you still sick? Uh, I am, but I had 12 hours sleep, a beef stew, and a careful diet of vanilla tea for today. So I am feeling quite better, but I still have a little bit of cough remaining, so don't worry. 
Right. Don't worry, don't worry. I, you can hear in my voice that I am quite better than the other than the other previous days. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. And look, if I want to, if, if I'm not wrong about look, when it comes to that, it, when it comes to that fight against um, the gremlins versus the up. Uh, the, the party versus the coal gremlins, as I like to call them. Um, allow me to play this one snippet where um, Lou gets a crit hit from the coal gremlins, if you will. Okay, okay. Um, oh, is this from one of the playlist things that you have? Yep. From sessions? Yep. I just hmm. need to get to the spot of this. Uh, of, of this, um... Kitin. Yeah, okay. Yes, no, no, yes. No. There, yeah. it's two attacks. Okay, there so it is. So, that little bit of coal, finish it. Let me go. Okay, there it is. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it, the segment. Guys, allow me to play this one segment of Lug versus the Lug versus the coal gremlin. Okay? And for, <laughs> um, and for context, before we actually get to work on doing this commission stream, um, I'll play this one little segment from the, um, from the Witchlight Chronicles, if you will. And for context, Luke is this big boy right over here, okay? Okay, and no, and this is the little coal gremlin, okay? That's the context. Now here's the, um, now here's the pitch. He's going up the stairs and tries to attack Luke. Yeah. Oh, suddenly. Right. Yeesh! So that's a crit, and you okay. take six fire damage. Where does it land? It don't work. To, to be fair, these things thankfully can't hit very hard. Yeah, I think I know exactly where he's gonna go if it's at a crit, <laughs> given how small it is. No. Right between the eyes. No. Just, uh, so, oh. something right between the legs. Playing no. mm -hmm. <laughs> None of us can do <laughs> Yep, and that, there it is. I actually played it into my Twitch, so everyone will actually hear that. Okay. And uh, for the, and for the moment itself, I'm gonna go back a little bit, so you can actually. Yep. That. So Cole. Uh, so Luke actually got a crit oh. hit. Um. So Luke actually got a crit hit from a coal gremlin onto his gonads. Oh no! Oh. Okay. That's evil. That is evil. Well, Bearwood was the one who rolled it, not me! Blame it on the dice! Bear, you're evil. And don't take that against me, because I know that we're playing tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if this is the right segment for this, but there it is. Oh god, I just gave, um, crit. I just kind of cringe chat a little bit from that. You made the most cursed idea we have the most cursed. <laughs> yeah. You it's cursed. For most of us guys, that is like the most un that is like the worst feeling in the world. And mind you, Luke is like seven foot tall! These little guys will at best are around this small! I'm Luke! You know? So essentially what you did was they brought a man down five, like twice the size of a normal person, and I just imagined him like laying down on the floor, holding onto his nuts, like I'm gonna need a minute. And, and you know oh, what's worse? Lord. In that little, in that span of time, Nessa actually tries her best to actually help save Luke by trying to get the bubble of water that she uh, wa water shaped, and tried to um. It tries to yeet it into the coal, but instead she, I, I, I rolled a nat one. Oh and no! It, and it, and instead of whipping it into the coal, I whipped it on Lou's ass. <laughs> Poor man's having a bad day. I mean, yes, I was able to heal him afterwards with bonus action and with healing word. She, he was able I to was... get six HP back. I was just gonna say, like, come on! I feel like at this rate, Luke has gotta take us. Well, 
Whoever's been attempting to help them should take a small distance away. But yeah, cool gremlins are basically this small, and Luke is like seven foot tall, okay? This little cold gremlin basically shattered the Colossus him! I was gonna say, well, David and Goliath would be more... Explant would be a better joke here. <laughs> that may be true, but anyways, I'm, I'm not gonna finish that jo I'm not gonna finish that sentence! <laughs> Except it wasn't the head. Alright, we've actually dilly dallied long well enough. I think it's about time we actually get to work when it comes to Shad's commission. Is it to say that Chad is naughty when they will get cold gremlin cold in their Christmas socks? I hope not, because the cold gremlins back in the witch like um in the witch like chronicles campaign um these guys are about to we're about to burn down a house. So no, I don't know. If that's a good idea. Just don't tell the actual gremlin about the cold gremlins, otherwise they may find an alliance with themselves with each other. Okay, sketch, like, refine. We can kind of agree. Hey. Cold Gremlin and the Gremlin will be the worst thing ever. Let's hey. see. Listen. Hey, Miki, would you recommend Rune Factory 3? I'm trying to figure out if I should get it or not. I mean, look, if you want to, if you want to try stepping your, dipping your toes into Rune Factory 3, I mean, Rune, in the Rune Factory series, then yes, yes, you can take, yes, you can pick three. That is how I actually started off when it comes to the Rune Factory series, and yeah. And yeah, Ruby also said so herself. Um, that's because we um, they, well, only because they were lit. Yeah. Might be a different story if they were cold. And, I mean, Ruby's character Marigold tries her best to actually, um, negotiate with the ha with, with these cold, with, with these cold gremlins. Only when she by using comprehend languages to, in, in order for them to understand them. Only the fact that um it flew over their heads because they have um an intelligence of one. Yeah, never. This is why you need to. Well, it's always good to check comprehend language. And as such, well, Ru Ruby just kind of Marigold just kind of sighed and just said. And just took the bucket like, well, no mercy. And just, well, dunks the gre dunks the coal gremlin in it. And with it, com complete with the anguish um, coal gremlin sound. That is, <laughs> I swear, I, I mean, implementing the um, house gremlin sounds when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to that um, quote unquote fight made everything much better to um made everything a lot better in that in that interaction hmm. i have rune factory three four and five. Oh, nice <laughs> the extremely naughty people get gremlin coal in their socks and burns down their house that is a terrifying idea. If not yeah, a terrible not... idea. Is it bad that I'm now getting a narrative for what would happen for that? Like, huh? my house! It's burned down! What did I do to deserve this? And inside the house, it's just like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, where's the Chucky? <laughs> I think they will just, because they have, like, one intelligence, the only word they most likely would just say is hello. Hello. <laughs> I, I can't do a gremlin hello in, like, the sense you can. Well... Uh, I, uh, I think for me, I just had to go really, um, pitched in or something like this, so it, you had to go in the lines like, Hello! Like, it's just due to the fact that I'm not very... You, I try high-pitched, I am not good high-pitched. Um, well, you did try. I mean, there's this. <clears throat> Hello. No. <coughs> yeah, what the shop. You, you you're still rec 
recovering from being sick. I advise you not to do that. Okay, I will not. Please don't. You don't want to. You don't want to um hack your th your vocal cords. I mean, once I fully recover, I am going to try and do a voice gig. Clearly, sometimes I do not think things through. It takes practice there. Yep, yep. Um, Kit Rarity Clown said so herself. No, I am not a gremlin. Why would I be a gremlin? Well, you did try. Chad tries to, uh, and as such, chat, chat, um, you know, assume, uh, pretty much assume so. Plus, you always are the one, uh, plus, uh, of all the people who, um, here in the Yang, you kind of get the short end of the stick when it comes to the gremlin. Okay, how often do I get the short end of the stick with the gremlin? Remember the time she lost her head? Yeah, so, um, I was gonna say, like, name three things the gremlin has done to me, specifically. Hang you up in the key rack, <laughs> biting you on the tail. Putting her bogeys onto your uh, onto your staff onto your staff. Need I say, need I need to continue? <laughs> Wait, what was that last one? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna try our best to actually work on the face on this first. Let's see. I don't know how far we're actually gonna go when it comes to this, cause there's like um five there's like f um five figures into this alone, but still it's there's a lot there's a lot here that we could actually uh, um, worry about. So okay, first is ink shots. Now I imagine the um, image of Afton as a gremlin living in my head is red free now. Oh, uh, do we need to make that an actual idea now? Mm -hmm. I am actually on the fence when it comes to um, opening up a segment on my commissions where I draw um, people as house gremlins. I mean, it's very tempting, but... I prefer to keep, well, I am still kind of thinking on altars for Afton, but even though it's kind of been a year for him already since I've actually had him created, so, like, art-wise. So, new ideas is something I need to look into. Okay. Mickey, now I don't want to be a gremlin. What is this? The equivalent of please don't turn me into a marketable plushie? Maybe it's just, maybe it is that. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, it is yes. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, even Chad is starting to agree with that. <laughs> Are they seriously wanting people to make? Everyone wants a mini me, well, essentially. That it's a it's a mini me that's a, a, a that is basically a ball of chaos. So yeah, I can see why people why people want the appeal on that. Now I'm just sat. Now I'm, and it also gives me the imagery of like Mickey and Gremlin sat on a table or sat by a table, and they're like, "You disrespect me. You disrespect my Gremlin." <laughs> Like a Doctor Evil thing, like you're sat down there and then you're like, have your mini you just sat on your lap, looking at this. <laughs> this is what happens when you have too much spare time for ideas. Well, enjoy it while you can. Oh, I will. Because it's going to be fun. Okay, let's see. I don't know where... Okay, so... I think I may have to cheese it a little bit when it comes to Shad's um, symbol on his hat. Hmm. 
Yep, I may have to resort on getting um a pre-existing um d pre-existing um d um vector from one of the uh, shad from the previous image I made of shads and just use it for there. Otherwise, we will un will unionize to turn you into a plushie. Oh, oh, dearie. Wait, who's who's you? Oh, don't you already have a plushie? Yeah, you're, I'm looking at it. I mean, in the case of when was the last time you turned yourself into a plushie? Oh, uh, a while. It's just that the the odds of that is very slim, you know. Was it that one time where you rolled a six, turned yourself into a plushie, gone to a jar? Yeah. And the moment you were about to leave, Azura popped in. Um, was it? Uh, did she pop in during that time? It's been a while. Yes. Huh. Yes, it was like two months ago, I think. I guess it has been a while then. Um, be right back for a moment. Sure. I think in the best case scenario chat, we could at least draw um, up to um, the first three into the front or something. I don't know. But you know, I just can't wait to... Oh. Before I actually would continue, I am going to actually refer, um, bring this up again so that you guys don't actually forget. After um, next week's um, streaming skit, after streaming for next week, um, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be having streams for the next couple for the, the last couple of weeks of December afterwards, because my folks are coming into town for, uh, from Hawaii. And as such, I'm going to be spending my um, two weeks of vacation with them as they like to um, spend their vacation here in Texas. So, for the holidays, there's going to be no streams for that, for that time being. And by January, I think things will be back to normal. Keyword should. We will, not, we, will be, we will be back with, by doing more things to do when it comes to January, like um, doing some resuming the pals to plushies, as well as um, going for some other f um, art projects in the future. One of them would be like um, taking my um, a few of my friends' OCs and turn them into D and D classes. Another them will just take. Um, Characters from pre-existing um, shows and turn them into D&D classes. I've always wanted to ha turn the Stardust Crusaders into D&D classes for a long while now. It's just that I just need to figure out on what will be the finalized um, choices for their respective classes. Because obviously Jotaro is the best candidate when it comes to being a astral monk. The and um, the rest is something that needs a little bit more time and planning. But I really hope that you guys are looking forward to that when that day finally comes. What did I miss when I was losing my mind over Twitch putting up ads? Um, I was just notifying chat that um, I'm going to be having a vacation for the last two weeks of December because my folks are here from town. And... Um, just notifying that on um, January we're gonna be having a um, we're gonna resume back when it comes to streaming as well as on future streams that'll be uh, that are to come, such as turning my D and such as turning um, characters of my friends and turning them into D and D classes, and um, taking pre-existing media characters and turn them into D and D classes. One of them Ooh, would be that. Um, is turning the uh and one of them is like turning the stardust crusaders into D, &D characters but i've yet to still figure out what classes they should actually um align to best obviously jotaro would be um an astral monk the rest still needs more time and planning hmm i mean
Look, Afton, I understand you want to chip into the conversation. It's just that, um... Uh, don't worry, I'm... That wasn't for you, I'm... Someone's texting me. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Don't worry. Although, hmm, it actually sounds quite awesome with the idea of what you have, like, turning anime characters into D&D classes. Like, that's awesome as hell. Good. Not many people do it. I think I did an oopsie in this one. Um. Okay. I still need to figure out the rest uh, when it comes to... Um... I still need to figure out the rest. Because that's still going to be um, a thing. Although... Astral Wizard would fit well when it comes to Kakyoin. You think so? I was thinking that he might be in the league of, um, of a Gloomstalker Ranger, but that's not... A, I need... I think I might need to take a look into that, because this is my first time actually hearing such a thing. Wait, are... What would you even call an Astral Wizard in 5e? Like, what... Are they referring to, like, Graviturgy? I don't know! Also, hi, Hey, Jay. guys! Hey! What's hey, good? Jay. Hey, your boy just woke up from a nap. Oh, I hope you had a nice nap. It was great. I got to sleep with my puppy. Aww. Aww. I'm not familiar with D and D. Um, you know what? Fair. I guess with with this, we could actually learn a little bit together. I was just telling Chad um the things that uh, that are to come when it comes to my um. The, the things that are to come when it comes to um, my streamings in the future. One of them would be like um, taking the de taking the characters of pre-existing media into and turning them into um, D and D classes. I know one of them would be um, the Stardust Crusaders from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, Obvi that sounds awesome! Obvious yeah, it does. Obviously, Jotaro would fit well as an astral monk. The rest still needs more planning. Well, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a stab at it and say uh, Jean Pierre Polnareff. He would probably be a um, not a cavalier. <laughs> what is it? A paladin. He would definitely be a paladin. Mm -hmm. Well, Steve said that he wants to uh, throw in samurai into the uh, for his class because he is um, thinking about it. Jean Polnareff is a speed based uh, is very speed based and, and attacks very fast, according to Steve. So he said. So a samurai is very well known for actually attacking fast and dealing a lot more damage. True, that is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, but he's also meant to be. Well, thing is though, he's technically Polnareff is a fencer though. I know, hence why I actually brought this up to Steve. It's once it's a that's the caveat that is in there. I think I may have to bring this up into some sort of, some sort of survey and to see what to actually go from there. Hmm. Yeah, that is true. Like, he, like, either or, uh, Polnareff feels like a character that would mostly rely on his dex dexterity. Mm-hmm. Um, as for, as for, uh, Joseph, I think he'd probably be, like, an arcane trickster. Arcane trickster? Yeah, like, 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 uh, Joseph Joestar's whole thing is that he's a really tricky guy, you know? And Although, with his with his combination of Hermit Purple and his Hamon, it would it would give him a lot of options to work with. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Ah, the one time I actually need to know jo JoJo knowledge. Bro, then uh, you might as well. You, I think we're gonna say this until the cows come home. So, <gasps> my dude, watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't have my Netflix on me right now. We can find out other sources to watch JoJo's. Also, yes, Dominic Design, what is your art question? Hey, Dominic Design? I mean, Demonic Design. De Demonic Design. Okay, I am so sorry. Tweedledee and Tweedle Dominic Design. Especially when you consider the idea Hermit Purple is Hamon, or at least it's Pinnacle. Oh yeah, that's true! 
like hum like Hermit Purple is meant to be an extension of Hamon into a stand. And I ran out of breath there. <laughs> Ugh, I can't. Breathe before you speak, Jason. You're not a dummy. Hmm. I still need to put a... I think I should definitely make a list when it comes to... No. <laughs> Maybe I should definitely make a list about this. <laughs> Uh, you're using vector lines. How do you remove or delete some the overlapping of lines over other lines? It seems like you just remove it so easily. Oh, that's actually a feature that's in Clip Studio Paint. Yeah, that's just something that you can just toggle on and off. You can uh, just have it delete intersecting lines. It's really handy. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, for your question, I actually made an eraser that is, that is, um, that is meant to work well when it comes to vector layers. Especially, you see this thing that's called Snap Eraser 2? I go into the um, tools over here, and when it comes to vector, um, to the tools property, that's what it is. <coughs> and in tools property, you actually have these other options down below here, which in the vector eraser, you can actually select the choices. Erase touched areas, erase up to intersection, or erase up to whole line. Now, erase up, now the first option, erase touched areas, would only go as far, as, which is just would only go as far as just one swipe, and then the, and then it's just there. The, the eraser is just the eraser just only basically um, separates the line. It's still there, but they now are are pretty much are their own separate vector layers. The my go to when it comes now for my go to, which is erase up to intersections. Would it basically erase, um, would it basically erase the intersecting lines together so you have, um, so you actually have the, the lines pre-existing gone. So whenever you do make mistakes like this, all you gotta do is just swipe and then the, the leftover intersection lines is gone. Now, whole line, on the other hand, um, basically is like the moment you just erase, um, Okay, that was a bad example. It just takes away the entire stroke, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. It just took away the entire stroke. Simple as that. For me, I would always select this. Um, I would always select my option to erase up to intersection when it comes to vector layers. And thanks for the hydrate. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got myself a Dr. Pepper right here. I got a Dr. B, but... Water is much more efficient in this uh, in this moment. Okay. <sighs> Steve said in the lines that going on a previous topic, he said that um he said that Monk would also do when it comes to Joseph alongside with giving him divination wizard, but what do you think? Think I like say. I would say maybe multi-class divination wizard with arcane trickster, if only because like again, Joseph's a very tricky guy. He's always thinking like eight steps ahead. But he uses that in tandem with his divination, so hmm. Also, if I'm not mistaken, Monk has been reworked in the new stuff of 5e, correct? Has it? Yeah, um, from what I've been hearing, the monk now, like the new version of the monk, is pretty, is better than the old monk. Are you sure? I I thought it was nerfed. Um, let me see if I can find it. I'll I'll like plop it in here. It's from the it's from like the new. I'm not sure if it's the Nerf Arcana or like the samples that DD Beyond have been making, but let me see if I can find it. Um, GM Binder, nope. Let's see. You mean his mind reading according to Wild? I like it. Well, yeah, like, uh, that is one of the tricks that Joseph can do, and it's implied that it has something to do with his hormone. Okay, on to the orb.
I mean, it's a start? But speaking of but speaking of Stardust Crusaders, I can't wait to actually play more of uh, Seven Stand User tomorrow. You guys are in for a little bit of a treat. <laughs> Interesting. Mm hmm Because let's just say that this next section of the fight, if we um we actually would would finally get um all right, slight spoilers alert. This is the, the this is gonna. The next part of this um, run for for Stardust Crusade for Seven Stand User is where we finally get to have um, party members added into the team. Meaning you can actually yeah. Did you? Hmm? Oh yeah. Did you get to the point where you um? Did you get to the point where you? I had to fight um, Abdul all over again. I mean, not not Abdul, Polnareff all over again. That's right. Yes. Did you fix your progress? Yes. Yes, it was not easy the second try, but I actually succeed. And I actually did not try to use Brainstorm this time around, and I actually got XP and some items from it. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So you can win the fight without Brainstorm then? Yeah, sometimes. Go figure. Okay, so let's see. I think seven will might do as the right um, medium uh, for as the right um, level of thick for this line art. I mean, hey, the best thing. Uh, I mean, you best through the bugs in Diablo two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, I can't wait to actually play Diablo two again. I have to. I'm happy to announce that I actually got all of my pro, uh, all of my parts for my PC. I just Good. Need to, I just need to actually figure out on, well, building it by myself is the last option. I just have to see if Steve's relative is well enough to do it. Cause I really want to. I really want to ask them, but I'm at the same time. I I want to make sure if they're okay because. According to um, source, some sources, he he just came down with COVID, so we're not Ooh. sure if he's um, well enough yet. I mean, this we've heard this about uh, weeks ago, if if you will. I see. Okay, um, found the thing on the monk. Yes, they are buffing. They're buffing unarmed strikes, monk weapons. They're making new options for disciplines. And apparently they're making a new subclass too. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I kinda need to stretch. Get it out of your system. Okay. Sorry, I Sorry, I couldn't. Stretching, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, on. I couldn't resist. I'm cool. Come on, that, that's, that's, come on, dude, that's just, nah. Sorry, I, mean, I couldn't resist. I had to do a funny. <laughs> hey, that's perfectly okay because it's not the first time we've all thrown a pillow at Mickey at the wrong times. E.g., me throwing a pillow while you're drinking water. <laughs> I guess that little outing we had with what, what I had with Steve is starting to catch up to me. See, um, Steve and I actually went out for um, to go to a little bit of a uh, uh, of a Chinese marketplace that we haven't been to in a while. So, <laughs> I yeah. see," said the blind man. So we actually used this time to actually get to check out the place. As well as getting uh, a few interesting tricks, uh, I mean, not tricks, interesting um, stuff that we've found, uh, we, we've been craving for for a while. I mean... Okay. In that place, in that, in, in that, in that, um, in that Asian market, in that little Asian market there, I managed to find, uh, I am actually relieved that they still have the, um, the strawberry, the, the strawberry flavored Oreo cookies there. 
Strawberry flavored Oreos? Yeah, that's a thing. Where, where are they and where can I buy 20 of them? <laughs> You may have to. Your best luck is trying it out in the in your local Ch Asian market, because these guys I got they they have Korean text on them. So, um, uh, so they. I mean, the ones I got they have Korean text on them, and they actually um have a very mild taste when it comes to uh, for something that's strawberry flavored. Like it's just really about right. Yeah, like the sweetness is just about right. Ah. Uh so, are we talking like, are we talking like, uh, like Nestle, Str Nestle Strawberry Milk Sweet, or? Mm, I think something. Or like, like, or like Strawberry Milkshake Sweet. I think Ooh. something up in Leagues of the Former. Okay, so Nestle Sweet, gotcha. What's wrong with it? What do you mean, what's wrong with it? I mean, what, what, why'd you ask? Well, I just wanted to gauge, like, what the taste was. Because, like, I really like strawberry-flavored stuff, but only if it's... But only if it's, like, you know, not too strong. Does that make sense? Ah, okay. F makes more sense. For me, I like my straw... I, I think, um... Maybe it's just me, but I like to have... I like my straw... I like to have strawberry milk that's from Nesquik. Oh, right, Nesquik. That's what I meant to say. Did I say Nestle? Yay! I meant Nesk. Did I say Nestle? I meant Nesquik. Ow! Let's see. I'm back. Sorry for that. I was looking up how to use the clutch claw. Ah, fair enough. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. I think we did well when it comes to shads. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did. We just need one more thing, though. Hey, listen. What is it, Retrofox? Redeem has happened? What kind of redeem? Um, oh, that's oh, sorry there, Jay, but the chat has spoken. Hey. Any last words? La fooling, a sorry howling. There you go. So let's go ahead and um I definitely need another I definitely need his um commission for this one. Um Yes, there you are. Open it up and there you are, so um one of these things is not like the other. One of these things don't really belong. Aha! Okay, so I need you. I need your vector layer of the symbol. Okay. I know you're stupidly tidy right now, but hear me out. You're gonna be a big boy symbol. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's just about, um, slightly right. I kind of need to, um, actually, maybe I'll put you in a separate layer. Which, by the way, save and layer check. Hang tight. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Something stuck check. in my throat. Okay, there you go. Uh Man, dear. Huh? Save and layer check. Coming. And it is saved. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, so we just need to work on these. Oh, oh no. Oh, 
Okay, this looks pretty good for the first one. Okay, that's the first one down for, sh um, that's the first one down, I believe. Oh, do you need to put them on all the hats? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, this symbol always exists on, uh, on every, on every one of his, uh, of every one of his sonas, you know? Mm -hmm. That is true. Now, let me go ahead and thicken up some areas of his line art. Because that's how we go here in this house. Okay, that'll do. So, let's see. It is called branding. It do be like that, though. Now then, we're gonna go ahead and start saving this. Ink, shrug. Okay. Now I ink shag master. Green weed it's done. And just to reshape this shall we um I know exactly what to do with you. Fill that up. There we go. That's one. That's one out of five. He has a Mario farm. Yes, yes, right over there, which is um the one that is for uh, that is for um his time working with SMG4, from what I remember. Wait, Shaz worked with SMG4? Yeah. Apparently. He's one of the he's one of the animators. And now time learn how to animate. Okay, base shads. There we go. And that's one. No, we're not using normal layer. We're using vector layer. Ink base two. And now let's go work on one of my favorite eras of shads. Oh, the My Little Pony one. Why not? I mean, Sh uh, I mean, I got to know Shads during his uh, during his Jeep uh, during his um, TF2 and MLP saga of his life. Yeah, it's where I actually get to connect with him the most in this period of time. There's a reason days like Shad's ha hat pops and random uh, items in SMG's four stuff. Yep. And it is Shadow Rush. It is indeed Shadow Rush himself. I never actually really understood the My Little Pony franchise. Well, it is a, it, it is a very um, peculiar in it. A show that is actually meant for little girls, yet it's... um. Biggest de demographic is act is I is ironically older men. And hey, some of the stuff in that show actually, um, I actually do came to really like. I can never get into it. It's the it's the bright pastels. Yeah. Also, also, just I just did not like the music. You know. You know, to each their own. So unusual for me because I love musicals. Let's see, Shadow Rush is the name of a poem. <laughs> let's see, and yet there, uh, it has become one of his. Well, well, um, let's see, most, and yet it has become the most popular for all ages. Yep, yep. Let's see. I'm gonna try my best to make sure this is just about right. I 
I think it'll be. Uh, I think in a in a moment or two, we'll definitely give ourselves a little bit of a break. Hmm. But I will say this, um, I actually have a little bit of a harder time trying to click when it comes to Gen 5. Because not only did I realize that- That's the- So it's not the- that's not the most recent one, right? It's the- it's the Flash animated one, right? It's actually- yes. Yeah, um, unfortunately it is because, um- Maybe it's because of the way how Gen 5 is designed compared to um, the simplified yet unique ver way how Gen 4 is designed. Maybe it's because of the way how, um, how, how they design the ponies compared to Gen 4. But I like Gen 4's design. After all, Lauren Faust is the one who, who designed them. Okay, I can't... Okay, yeah, the, the, generations all, the generation numbers always confuse me. Well, honestly, I don't blame you. Uh, most people, uh, when they start to get used to My Little Pony, are confused when it comes to the design-wise. Um, my Friendship is Magic, which is um, the one that, that, that where the bronies came from, Friendship is Magic is Generation 4. And that is where, the, and that is where they actually help somewhat simplify the designs but they still make it more eye-catchy. Especially when it comes to the cutie mark je um, st uh, on how they design cutie marks. Cause um, if you look in some um, pony toys that they uh, from older generations, there's like a lot of cutie marks all in, in one place. Where in, gen f where in Gen 4, maybe to help simplify the budget, um, they just made it into one little image for the cutie mark. Let's see, and, um, Gen 3 is a nightmare. We don't talk about Gen 3. <laughs> yeah, as I understand it, that's what, that's one of the more nine, uh, mind-numbing ones. See, I can't even say it properly. <gasps> Dave! Uh, hello. Are you okay? I have been in meetings on and off since... El uh, 11 o'clock, and I want to die, too. Oh, you, oh, you poor thing! It's not actually, I mean, it's not that bad, it's just orientation meet meetings with the, with the company, so nothing, nothing bad, just, you know, tired, not helped by the fact that I was woken up by God knows what at, like, 2 in the morning earlier. To be fair, I wasn't up that late. I woke up that late and, and was frustrated to find in that it was only two in the morning for some reason. So I tried to go back to sleep. Dang, that's, oh. my, that's my time period to go to bed! Uh, Nikki, you shouldn't be going to bed that late to begin with! Well, I'm trying to like, curb it! Isn't 2 p.m. So, like 4 a.m. over that? Like, what? what's your time zone again? Uh, I'm in the eastern time zone. And there's Mickey the same as or no? I think Mickey's central. I'm like, like an hour one different. hour um behind. Yeah, you're an hour behind. Yep. Okay then, so um and you said you went to sleep at two AM? No, I said I woke up at two AM after having <laughs> gone to sleep. And that let me guess, it, and let me guess, you couldn't you couldn't go back to sleep after? I mean I eventually got out there, but of course, you've already been broken up, so your sleep cycle's been busted at that point. Oh! Oh no! Granted, oh, no. I should have been in bed by about 10 o'clock, but still. Sorry there, I'm just shaking my I'm head, going... Mickey. But I'm going... Sorry there, fellas, but I'm going into a tunnel. Oh look! It's happening again. <laughs> Oh no. <coughs> Hello, Hi. Gremlin. Hello. Hello. Hey, sweet Okay. Hey, you're, you're in your rat uh, onesie. Hey, 
Are you supposed to be in that? That's gonna make me a scar! It's the only thing that keeps him screaming warm! But it's also getting cold right now! I'm gonna get him like cold! Something uh, more festive. Yeah, I was gonna say, like... Wow, Gremlin, I did not expect you to be... Not good with cold. I mean, there's us right here that are like have arm sleeves out in the cold because it's quite nice. Thank you for heat pet. Thank you for air heat pet. I'm trying to help you stay warm, Gremlin. How's ah. Gremlin wants to turn into a lump of coal? No, 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 no. We all know why. Well, I know why. And we're not gonna let you do it. <laughs> oh, Chaz! I got Sunday for Tricky! This is Sunday and Tricky! Say what? Well, it's a good thing. To, it's a good thing Gremlin can't get to uh, what I've got. Uh, what do you got? I made an advent calendar this year. It's a family tradition. We do it with oh, we do it with Hershey's kisses. Oh, Gremlin! Yeah. Yeah. Gremlin! Oh, what did they just have? Affinated. No, no, Gremlin! Yeah. Oh god. Gremlin! Why? He's fine. Relax. Can I scream and have another therapy? No. Why? If you try no. again, I'm gonna bomb you. Too much, too, much, too much is bad for you, Gremlin. Speaking of experience. Ah, it's good. Well, I have a riddle for everybody. Uh-huh. What do you got? Who has four <laughs> other personas? Who has four other personas and completely forgot that a certain <laughs> in-gamer was screaming today like an idiot? What the fuck? Why has the government been abducted? What's that explosion? What Help the? me from cold gremlins! Cold gremlins? Are there more of you? <laughs> Are there? <laughs> Do not bring uh, me- uh, I will bring out the cold the gremlins for my people! <coughs> uh, oh no, she found them. I will get the almond powder! Oh, the, oh, those cold gremlins. Yes, I remember these. Ah, we we said I told you we we them. Mhm. Mm uh, okay. How's Gremlin actually make friends? <sighs> oh yes. no, she found them. We found these little bosses in a DD game. I was told about them. Mm. And. <sighs> my goodness. There we go. Goliath! Yes. Goliath! Yes. I found a friend! You found a friend? Yes! It's on fire. Yes! Why is it on fire? Oh, should I get the? Should I smash these things? No, get the fire extinguisher. Yeah, yeah, that turned that turned me freeze. That hot freeze for house cleaning. Extinguisher. No. Thank you. Yet. Well, I'll I'll keep it on standby then. Cold Grimmins gonna hit me in for it much warmer 
ど。Yes. I was kind of did not do a bad this time. You did not do a bad this time? Yes, yes, yes. I was gonna let you in with Ted's gun after you came back. Okay. Twist, 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 I see I somebody is a fellow connoisseur of CS-188. Ah! What? This jump is gonna go big. Okay, Gremlin, there's one thing before you go. Huh? This can probably late. Why do you do that? Why don't we the port? Sure. Okay, well, I'll just take the rocks out of my shoe then. Sticky rocks! Yeah, but what type of... Wait, what type of rocks? Sticky rocks. Like the candy? N n no, like rocks covered in uh, what I can only assume is a sticky substance. Oh, that, that sounds uncomfortable. I think that's <clears throat> the idea. Well, I'm just gonna... Well, I guess I'll just uh, slip out of my socks then and just uh, go get my other pair of shoes. Hey guys, what did I miss? You missed me! Ah, hey Shads! I have, a riddle, shads. For you. I have a riddle for you, Miki. What's that? Who has four other personas and completely forgot that a certain innkeeper was streaming the rest of his commission today like a fucking idiot? Oh, Shads. Mm. Oh, Shads. Uh, I am so sorry, I completely lost track of time. Nah, I mean, at least you caught it now than much later in the, in the day, before I co close up shop. Yep. Mm. Uh, speaking of which, uh, sure of mine. Hmm? I has early gift, uh, birth, uh, Christmas gift. Do you yeah. want? Hmm? Sorry, what's this for? It's a early Christmas gift. I mean, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Heh, <laughs> because he, because she's drawing ponies. <laughs> <laughs> and poof. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I know you're a big fan of the tactical shit. Is it weird that I really am looking forward to the next section of the Witchlight campaign um, after what happened in our last session? Um, right. huh. what has happened? In the last session, that is what we had to do, you know? We are tasked to actually help out um, the bully wogs, aka fro frog people, from an animated coals that are about to burn down a building. And, um... At the animated coals come to life, starts to burn down the building. We have to make sure to extinguish them before they um, do more damage. And then I said this out loud to the DM. I'm sorry, but I can't help but think of the house gremlin noises every time these coals move. And it just made, <laughs> the, and it just made the interaction much better than it was before. How did everyone at the table react to that idea? Simple. Oh, we all died laughing. And it even made the fight <laughs> much better, though. In fact, if you guys look into the TV chat of my, um... If you guys look into the TV chat uh, uh, of the inn, you actually find on um, the VOD right there. <coughs> I say VOD, but... Well, these these are more like private recordings. Uh-oh. Yeah, because... I don't think you're able to see them on the... On your channel, so no, so but you can actually view the playlist onto the playlist themselves. The rest of the videos are still unlisted, but the playlist is not. Okay, thank you. And uh, th was this part of the thing that I wasn't able to join? No, this is a whole different thing. Okay. Which like, yeah, I think that one was the Viking kind of one, or no? No, no. Heroes no. of 
Heroes of Valen, I think. It's oh, um yes. the Isekai game that um that I advertised it earlier. Cause... Oh, the other one. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, Shad, there's that. Ah! Oh, hey. It wasn't me this time. There's a Spang Specter. Um, I was gonna say that um, for an upcoming project late, um, next year down the line, is taking um, our my friends' OCs and turning them into D and D classes. Would you consent turning um, of me turning your D and D uh, turning one of your characters into D and D classes? That depends. Be okay with which that. Of the, which of the which of the four or five are you looking at? Well, I was thinking of picking Kami this time around. Oh, I thought you were talking about Shadow here. I, 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 bleh. I, 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 I am more, more derpy derp today than I anticipated. I am not blame you. Yeah, you Derpy, because, because you're drawing pony, because we're drawing ponies. Now I'm also <laughs> a voice actress to Derpy in his work. Yep. Although, yeah. Does anyone agree with me? Would, do you think Shads will be a good warlock? He would. I can see I it. So tweet. <laughs> I also like to say I met I commented to you the other night when you showed me the work in progress about how your work on Inklings has gotten so much better, but I think your your drawing of ponies is a lot better now too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it has been a long while since I draw ponies, though. It has? Yeah, like, the last time I draw ponies was, um, years ago. And that is, and the la and that is when I still, oh, right, when I drew Comic Page. Oh, Comic Page, I really need to bring you back into the spring of things in my current shenanigans, so no. <laughs> How long has it been I... since you've done a comic? No, I meant, um, I meant Her my pony character, comic page. Oh. Huh. The OGs yeah, like remember. Mm-hmm. I... Okay. Yeah, that's one I do not know of. 2019, according to the properties of this... Oh, god damn. Oh. Holy shit. Like, here, this is comic page. This is the OG Unicorn, back when I was still in my MLP root days. Aww. I want to go to the now. <laughs> like the little beret. It's a little beret that makes him look so cute. Yeah, the beret I really like. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's still around. She just travels. She just likes to walk around the forest that they, that's around the inn. That's all. Uh. Do you want the last unicorn type of design with this kind of look? Why not? Mm. I, I just definitely see it. All I'm saying is that it works. Although, have you ever seen a unicorn that's brown, though? No, actually. Nope. Well, those are something you didn't see. Although I'd say that's more of a, I'd say that's more of a like a cream color. Well, hmm. in Comic Page's case, um. And here, and this also extends to the land of Calamore itself. Unicorns are usually have a, a white body, and they usually have bicolored, um, and they usually have a bicolored um, mane and t uh, for color for their mane and tail. Comet Page, though, is one of those rare amalgamations out there where instead of uh, instead of born with that, they are born with brown colors. However. Oh. This is pretty much of a, um, what is the proper way to say this? What is, it's, it's in the tip of my tongue, but, um, although this is very uncommon, it's very unappealing to some people. Because hmm. white is pretty much the, uh, white alongside with, uh, white with, white with a, with, um, uh, with a pearlescent mane and tail is pretty much the sta is pretty much the standard and the most popular color for unicorns. Brown, on the other hand, is unappealing, and unicorns are very prideful. They don't like that, so um, so they usually abandon the they so they usually uh, abandon these um small flocks when it happens. So um. 
I actually t I actually found Comic Page when I was working around in a um a unicorn rescue ranch, if you will. Yes, it took Aww. some level of of getting her trust because she's went through a lot, but eventually I actually did got to befriend her, and next thing you know, she became close, and she's now roaming around in in the in, um the woodlands of the inn since. That's adorable. That day is really wholesome. Mm -hmm. so you tend to, I noticed that you tend to take in a lot of foundlings. Well, why not? You know, I, I think it's but I think that I, I think they deserve something much better. Uh, I want to give them a life much better than what I went through. And I noticed a comment earlier from one Fang Spectre. Uh, Kami is still around, just, you know, we are working on really fixing up her story and character and all that fun, fun stuff. I am actually thinking about making, of choosing Kami for my, um, subject of turning D my friends D&D OCs to cap, to, I mean, turn my friends OCs to D&D characters. But I can't speak! But yeah, the point still kind of stands. Um, I would be interested in seeing how you go about that. Hmm. I um, can definitely I... see... Hmm? Yes? I do have a... Um, who is Kami, to be exact? Oh, oh my boy, goodness. where do we begin? I'm glad you asked! Before you answer oh, that... I... Before well, you answer that, I being... had a question. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So, I already turned some of my OCs into D&D characters, so would that be... Would that be something that would be, like, your take on the concept, or would you just be redrawing what I already made? My take on the concept, but you already have your thing, so unfortunately, I'll, I'll say... I'll Those who don't get first dibs. That's fair. Right, carry mm -hmm. on. I was about to say, like, Miki being one of the lore masters of, like, my oldest, oldest shit can tell you all about Kami. Okay, okay, where do I start? This is me record telling this from the top of my head. Okay, and there are things I made done goof, so Shaz is there to actually back me up in case if I done goof. Of course. Okay. So, Shaz had the series back when he was still starting off in Gmod, uh, that is the Kami Saga, if you will. It doesn't really have mm -hmm. a proper title, but the Kami Saga is pretty much the reoccurring name of this, um... Of this story, anyways, it's a, it talks it talks about a story uh, named Kami and her and, and her adventures around the TF2 Gmod lands where she for, where she where she actually meets her first love. That actually turns into a bit of a tragedy. That actually becomes a um, psychedelic um, trip where she actually discovers darker things about herself than she thought. <laughs> this is Shad. This is Shad okay. still trying his, trying his, try, trying his um luck when it comes to storytelling. <clears throat> Some things um age poorly. Like uh, oh, oh, there's so many things that age poorly. But, 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 it still lay in the foot. It still lay in the footprint that actually helps Shad's where he gets to today. Okay. Mhm. Mm in fact, there was a time um, when Shad is doing a fundraiser um, that takes place about a year ago, I guess, where he actually would um, watch all of his old Kami series at, for the sake of this fundraiser. And those who actually oh. helped out for, for that fu said fundraiser, um, if they actually met a certain goal, they, we, everyone gets to watch an old video that he swore to himself he'll never watch again. Chad decided to say, fuck it, I'm taking that bet, and decided to fu fu fund in that gold, and we actually watched the video that Chad swore never to watch again. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's somewhere in, like, chat archive somewhere. Oh, uh, it is archived oh. in his old Twitch channel. Oh, okay. Huh. I don't think I actually know of that one. I know of his current <laughs> one, but not sure... Chad's permission mm -hmm. for me to actually talk about it to say its name. You speak of Kami versus Sexton Hale. Yep. Uh, <laughs> give me a minute. Okay, now that is two. Oh, oh 
Okay. All right. So the main, you got Shadow himself and Shadow Rush. Uh, I, I must say again for the viewing audience in the inn right now, I really, really, absolutely love how you did Inkling and Shadow and Shadow Rush. Yes. I mean, it's what I do. It's what... No, seriously, looking at them. The two of them, Shadow Rush and Inkling Shadow, looking at them and comparing them how you first drew them, it's like, oh my god, you have improved so much. I mean, I'm just pulling, the, I'm just fl going to the fly, uh, I'm just flying in the seat of my pants for this one. <laughs> but I'm actually, you really think I actually improved that much since I last drew them? Really, really. Huh. And I didn't even talk about TF2 and SMG4 Shadow either. Oh man, I grew up. I I still grew up when it comes to TF2 and Pony Shad. Hey, those are the ones that a... still hold tight to my chest. Oh, uh, I'm flattered. Yes, Retro Fox. Afton to be my ears. Two D&D characters walk into a bar. One's a hot dragon. The other's a fae. One says, uh-huh, the other says, uh -huh. and then shortly after, um, okay, I can't say that. <laughs> okay, um, do you want me to carry that on or no? Nah, 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 I ain't taking okay. that bait. <laughs> <coughs> oh, are you sure about think, that? I think he wanted me to say this, but yeah, I, I'm just, in okay, this is a little funny. I almost forgot the symbol <coughs> on, Sha on Shadow Rush's hat. Every single one of these Sonas still has the symbol. No ifs, whats, or buts. So what is it? What, what do you say here? The Fae gets strong and says you wanna? And the dragon, and the dragon says... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's... Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 Bae, it's a piece of literature! I, I, that may be so, but it still feels like it's bait! <laughs> I'll say, Shads, that icon seems to seems a little familiar. Does it, by chance, take inspiration from Shadow the Hedgehog? The fun fact is that Shadow's... Well, Shadow Rush's cutie mark and Shadow's insignia before it got this change actually was just... It literally just a recolored Dark Arms logo from Shadow the Hedgehog, so yeah. I knew it! Just we've altered it a bit so that it's... original, I guess, Distinct. or unique. Distinct. Distinct, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for, thank you. You're welcome! <clears throat> now let's see. So, Mickey, um... So, Mickey, you fan of Rack and Bass, like the un last unicorn? Ever seen the movie Flight of Dragons? Um... Honestly, I don't know. I don't. I've never actually seen that movie before. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. That's oh. My, that's the first time for me actually hearing that. Oh, Roger Fox just reminded me of something. Like, like when they was speaking about Fey and dragons and like Fey dragons. Did you know that there's a hag dragon? A uh, hag dragon? Uh, okay. What? Okay. Um, it's not. It's not official. But it's its own thing. Like, essentially, a hag, or coven of hags, would steal a dragon egg. And they would eventually experiment and raise this young hag dragon. Dragon, if you will. You know, I can't help but actually think that uh, when I heard hag dragon, the first thing that comes to mind is, is um... Ancient dragon, ancient old old ass old ass dra um, lady dragon is like, get off my get off my lawn, you little adventure agents. Oh, <laughs> you dirty kids, get off my property! Oh, no no, 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 listen, listen, you gotta hear it like this. <clears throat> you dirty kids, get off my property! <laughs> oh, weird fact. Um, apparently, this hack dragons can't age normally. So Wait. guess what they do instead? I am a feared. They don't have a normal breath. So what they do instead is they will take 
Like, do you know how ghosts can take people's lifespans in D&D? Uh-huh. Yeah, hag dragons have a breath attack that do that. Oh my goodness. Oh. And that's how it ages. Wait, well, I'm sorry, Mike. I don't have the actual uh, breath, breath dragon. I, 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 I know you're expecting a normal breath weapon that is coming from me. Instead, I'm just going to breathe out this bottle of Listerine that I tell you I need to eat. <laughs> like, who could agree a hag dragon sounds terrifying? Oh yeah, hagans sound terrifying. I am many, I have many things. A hard bag of coffins, my charisma, but this is not one of them. <laughs> I got that reference. <laughs> Although, the question is, can you even consider, like, wait, I'm um, like a D&D &D standard. Would you even consider Hag's Fae, or no? I don't know. That is an excellent question. Let's see. Although. I don't know how I'm going to pull off when it comes to this eyes, but I have an idea. I think. You have an you have an idea? <laughs> oh yeah, because you're right on the eye. Hey. Okay. This is for the dragon hag bit. I mean, come on! At least tell me it's not fun. Point in the game that is called Witchlight and Fae Theme. I mean, you're not wrong, Lunar. I mean, Dave, Steve, and I, alongside with Ruby, are part of a Witchlight um, are, are part of a Witchlight campaign, or as I like to help it call it, the Witchlight Chronicles, in order to help make things a little bit different out there. Um, just as a brief check, yes, hags are fey. Just, I keep forgetting that. Is that what it is, hippies again? <laughs> I'm sorry, I I can't help but that's the way I think of a hag dragon say, <laughs> saying something like, have a Granny Smith-like voice, or, you know? He does, really? Now I just need to see a hagen that is, that is just 100% a Granny Smith apple pie. Uh, there is a video on it if you would like to take a look. I'm sorry? There's a video on Hack Dragons. Hmm, okay. I shall... I'm gonna put it in TV... Should I put it in tabletop chat or TV chat? I put it in the tabletop chat. Okay. I don't know if this is the right way for me to design his eyes, but I mean I could do a lot better. What makes you say that? Wait a minute. Okay, it's a vector layer. Okay. <laughs> well, you worried you down the wrong layer again. No, more like I got a wrong um and I got a wrong type. <coughs> More like me assuming I got the wrong type of layer. There's a difference. Just to save, have one of these, Miki. Oh, thank you, thank you. It is always important to save. But I think when it comes to designing this, um, <clears throat> me pulling off your SMG Sona is a little bit on the trickier end because I've never Mario'd before. I was, I, I was going to, again, I had stuff to say about how you drew sh TF2 and SMG4, Shadow. As I'll be completely honest, I, compared to Inkling and Shadow Rush, I had no idea how they turn out, the, the other two would turn out on your style, but, again, I am very, very content with how they came out so you, far. You think so? Mm-hmm. Especially SMG4 Mario, because again, even you said you never drew a Mario-esque character before, but I think you did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think that. so. I mean, this. This one here. 
Yes. Hmm. Mario, Mario artist. Uh, I have a question. Is the cheek supposed to not be fully round? I mean, I'll fix it when it's time for the lot from the line art layer. I think. I think I'll get around and fixing it when it comes to the line art layer. Okie dokie. Again, just take your time. I am absolutely loving how this is all coming out. Um, uh, now, now, I just uh, to, now I just need to figure out. When it comes to the mask of this thing, I wonder if I should actually draw that into well. a separate layer or... Hmm? Honey? Sorry, just, uh... Turning off a of Jenny. Oh, okay. Okay. This eye needs to be a little bit just a smidge. It's just a smidge bigger. There we go. A skosh bigger. By the way, Mickey, can I show you this um, TF2 No Not November meme I just found? I think you might like it. Oh, uh, no. Well. Probably not. I. Look, okay, you know what? I'll bite. Mikado, you are one ca great character designer. Oh, that's an owl! Ow! Ow! Right at the tit! Ouchies. I, I second what they say. You are you are an absolutely excellent character designer. Sorry, I had to. I saw an opportunity and I seized it. Bruh! Bruh! And you're not wondering why you're still in the jar. Ha. Uh, destroy mm. all... Well, allow me to rectify that. What? I need to find the, sa the name of the soundtrack when it comes to this because it really does slaps. Okay, what the fuck did I just see on my Twitter timeline? Huh? Are you sure you want to know? <laughs> Hang on, I have to actually look this up before I say anything because I want to be sure this isn't a. Oh my god, it's fucking real. Uh, 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 uh. What? What did what did you go looking up? Do you want me to... I want you to listen to this as I repeated word for word this headline. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> McDonald's is launching a spin-off restaurant named Cosmix, focusing on coffee and cafe to seemingly compete with Starbucks. What? Uh, oh, as opposed no. to, you know, Stop. expand... I'm ex sorry, what? <laughs> as opposed to, I don't know, you know, expanding the existing Mac... Cafe franchise. Look, I will, I will post the story. Yeah, I, was gonna say. I, will, I will post the story in TV chat. Look, I, I it's do fucking not, real. I refuse to believe that this is an actual thing. But uh, oh, <laughs> that what? sucks. What? Okay, let me show this image here. Let me show show this in the image so chat will actually see this. Oh my god. Sorry. It, it, it's like so, it's like somebody tried to take the Toy Story <laughs> story aesthetic and put it onto a McDonald's brand. What? It feels like an off brand. It feels what? like an off brand brand. They already sell coffee at McDonald's by default. This is redundant. <laughs> the McCafe already exists. Um, as I said, the McCafe already exists. Why do they need this? <laughs> it's oh my God. God. What? Listen, are you sure this is not an Adam season April Fool's Day joke? No, I, I checked. It's actually legitimate. I wish I was joking. <laughs> there is actual footage of the sign. This is insane. Oh, oh, oh but wait, but wait, wait, wait. I, there is more. There is more. There's, there's more. There's more. Do, do you want to see their food and drink menus? I'm posting that in TV chat now as well. Okay. Look at this. Uh, the, I mean, it can't get oh, it worse. The churro frappe, s'mores cold brew, 
Sour cherry oh energy burst. Blueberry <gasps> ginger boost. Make me cringe. These do not feel <laughs> like. The question is, are they gonna do it how they how they show on the menu, or are they just gonna do their usual McDonald's thing and not actually? And there's the food. Why am I looking? More, of course, there's more burgers. But what again, why on earth would you go to a Cosmix when you already have a Mick freaking Donald's? Was gonna say, it's stupid. <laughs> it's like this they're is... trying. This is this is dumb. It's uh, like they're. I mean, what I, am I, I looking I, at I could here? see it if they. I could potentially see it if they needed a competitive brand in like <laughs> some specific uh, country, me like me say they. Need <laughs> I think yeah, if, they need, it, if they needed a competitor in Canada to say Tim Hortons, for example, it might make sense. What? Yeah, is it, this is, question, is Tim Hortons actually good or bad? Because I've tried some of that stuff and it's really nice. Uh, make me crazy. Like, <laughs> why? Why do they... Here's my... Here's like the bigger all-encompassing question. Why does McDonald's of all franchises feel the need to compete with Starbucks of all franchises? I don't know! Because it's they sell strange. coffee and they see a captive market. Like the cafe already exists. Oh, yeah. I'm aware, but I'm not there. But I'm <laughs> not the head of business at McDonald's. <laughs> oh my god, the entire chat is dying of cringe. I know, that's the fifth one just now. Give <laughs> it a second. Give it a second. <laughs> this is so. I I want to laugh, but if I do so, I'm gonna go into a coughing fit. My, oh my I just god. feel the. I can just feel the acid reflux from looking at all these menu items. Yeah, because we all know McDonald's is not gonna do them as they show them in the picture. I predict if they actually go through, go with this, this thing is gonna close down in a couple of years. Yeah, definitely. I somehow don't doubt that. We don't need. Yeah, chat even says so themselves. We don't need this. We we got the McCafe, you know. Oh, also, I made a Jarbadim. I would. I, For I, whom? I, well, since it is Shad's commission, he deserves to get the best seat in the house. Psh. Nice. Okay, okay, there we go. Wait, no, no. There we go. Sorry, Shad's Chad has spoken. <laughs> Where is Shad's? Well, Any last words? Just my uh, usual rebuttal. Whee! He's coming down. He's coming down. And there he. There he goes. He's now in. <laughs> okay. okay, hold on a second. I need to fix myself up here. Eh! Come here, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I think we kind of need to get back on topic so we can actually scrub the information off our brain because that is yeah. enough to actually kill chat for. No, I, uh, I didn't mean to distract you from drawing. I, I just felt the need to share that because it was so out there. I know. And, and you know. Oh, it, it, I, I, I mean I, the whole. I mean the name is Cosmic. It's already out there. I. I plus size. Point. Besides, the backyard can only handle so many, so many bodies, okay? <laughs> Alright, time for a musical distraction! Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Full of jerks. Out there, full of shine and full of sparkle. Just gonna go and I... No! <laughs> yeah, that one coming, mate. I'm sorry. Thank you. It was well warranted. <laughs> what do we got here? Fine, somebody doesn't appreciate the classics. Oh, I appreciate the classics. I just thought it was very tempting. Uh, do you have a Discord? Unfortunately, the paper played in for the time being is a private server. Um, you deserve the friends. 
But there will be a time. Uh, but there is a community server that is still on the works. I've I've yet to actually um figure that one out. No, no. You know. Come, come here. But when the, well, but when the time is right, you will all know. Okay. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, you can always join my Discord server at the Wordplay Theater, where some where, where we have some crossover. Wow, wow shell it, uh, just shilling, ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see an opportunity and I take it. I'm alive because I'm already aware of it. New after they th br brought bought things from Timmy's, um, they would expand. They're already moving baked goods from some of the McCaffrey's menus. Wait, what? Oh, don't tell me the cinnamon oh. rolls are are among them. Uh, I'm among us. No. Like this is a weird one. I don't understand cinnamon rolls. I I've tried no! them and. I've tried them, and I'm just... I don't realize why they're so tasty. Well, not... I don't understand why people find them tasty. It's a weird you one. You don't like... You don't like cinnamon rolls? No. Okay, listen. If you don't like cinnamon rolls, then you haven't tasted mine. I think it's just due to the fact that... Even though it has been a while since I've last had one, so... Okay, question. Whenever you got cinnamon rolls, where did you get them from? Yeah, because Actually, depending from um, store to store, some of the cinnamon rolls would um, be affected. If they got them from Cinnabon, then ugh. You think the UK has Cinnabon? After you know what? That is, oh, God, that is true. Oh God, later! Oh God, later! Such bold statements there! What's that? Afton is dead to me. What? <laughs> My goodness. Well, I guess it's hunting season. <laughs> No, no. Hang on, just let me go bring out that wanted poster. <laughs> no, yep. no, no, no. Yep, time to get a deer pelt on my rack. You'll never take me alive. Would probably be more like mutton. <laughs> oh, wow, he's gone. <laughs> Give him a moment, though. <laughs> um, I'm sure he'll come back. Oh, Those there he mother, is. Those motherfuckers blew up my ride. They, they told you to, honey, I think that's their way of saying not today. I'm back. Well, I guess I'm hoofing it for a click. <laughs> but still, I, I don't get the cinnamon rolls. I, um, my mom gets them, gets them whenever she comes back from shopping. So I think it's like market brand cinnamon rolls. Okay, mm. yeah. If you're in the UK and you're getting market brand, then I don't know how to tell you this, but I... English food sucks. I, I'm i aware. I'm very aware. Also, we do get it from Ikea, but I think that's very... <laughs> that's I not very get it from what? Ikea? I You're getting it from Ikea? I yeah. Ikea <coughs> cinnamon rolls. What? Yeah, they do them. They do them here. I, I you know what? I've heard of... You know what? I've heard of getting Swedish meatballs from Ikea. <laughs> not yeah, near... You know. <laughs> Not nearly as good as my grandma's Swedish Swedish uh, meatball, meatballs, uh, though. Uh, uh, oh, like, my like Mickey... oh, my head hurts! Oh, my head hurts! Oh, God, give me a moment! I'm, I'm, I, I kind of need to stand up. I need to take a bus. I need to stand up. <laughs> oh, God, am I listening just now? <laughs> uh... Well, if I'm not being hunted now, I'm definitely going to be hunted later. My brain hurts! I... Oh! Okay. Okay. Um, alright. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm back now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually recuperate. <laughs> Ikea uh, sells meatballs. Yeah, about they that? do. I mean, they're delicious, so... Yeah, Swedish meatballs, oh my goodness, they are delicious. I would know, I'm part Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, my grandma makes amazing Swedish meatballs. She makes this uh, nice mushroom, this nice, cre this nice cream of mushroom gravy to go with them. Wait, oh, really? that's, that's so good. It's delicious. Please tell us you have the recipe. I, you know what, I need to ask. 
ask my grandma for for her recipes because I haven't spoken to her in a while. Well, that's also kill two birds with one stone. Ask how she's mm -hmm. doing and ask um her recipe. Yes, I need to get those I need to get those meatballs recipes because I've already got my I've already got my dad's like Italian meatballs recipe, or I guess they're technically Sicilian. I I, I don't know. Well, um, in a way, uh, but yeah, kill two birds with one stone. Not only are you actually catching up with her, you're actually um passing on the generation by uh, generation teachings of her of her uh, of her meatballs. You know. Yeah. I have an uh, Irish in my family tree. I think. Um, ah, so do I. Neat. Ditto. I think my mom once upon a time said that um, I have like Irish, Scottish, German, and Filipino American in my um, ge in my genealogical tree. But I have a feeling there's something more going on into the back. I wish I know Still what that more is, but you know. <laughs> To this day, we're still trying to prove that there's some Native American parts in my family tree. Just because, listen, I know it's got to be there somewhere. Because my brother, he looks like he could be Native American. Yeah? Yeah, like, you wouldn't believe it just by just by looking at me, but... Or my other brother, Jared, but my youngest brother? Oh my goodness, he looks so much like it. It's oh. crazy. Thank you, thank you Jack the Dragon. Let me take a look at this meme. He can also he can also pass for Mexican, which <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's some Jackson Dragon just passed this to me! I can't I need to share this! I have to share this! Oh, just 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 give me a moment to share this. Okay. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, okay, he basically shout this! He basically shouted! <laughs> uh, that made me go. That made me set off. Damn! Mickey! Mickey, calm down. Take a okay, breath. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Ah, ah, I think I think ah, we broke the innkeeper, chat. Ah, <laughs> ah, maybe telling me. Maybe. Two. It was to get you to stop laughing, or you'd die laughing. I'm fine now. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Give me a moment. You good? Let me grab a drink of water. I think we all got in and needed that. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. Alright. I think I'm much better now. Alright. I think we, I could go as far as to make... Um... Hmm... I've already done normal shads. I've done um, I've I've done shadow rush. I'm now gonna do. Uh, I'm now currently doing the um inkling shads. Hmm. I'm good. I'm good now. Good. <laughs> I I don't know how far I can actually go with this one, but we'll see. I mean, you're doing really good on the time. You think so? Oh. We're usually concentrated more when it comes to drawing the line art for these guys. Yeah, like it took. How long did it take you on the other, on the other one? Two hours. Um. Yeah, because they have full bodies of. T they have a um like a full body um profile going on. Oh yeah, and I'm guessing. Like most of this stream will be of doing all the lineup for all the all of them here. I think so. If we're, uh, on a, on a good run, that is. Okay. Okay. So. Should 
chat says a gremlin is not a bad uh, it's not as bad as unbreakable as a gremlin. Oh, what? that's a terrifying thought. Unbreakable yeah. gremlin sounds too much for this world. Suggesting the idea of an unbreakable gremlin. Hey, don't blame it on me! Blame it on chat! I was just reading what they wrote! Yes, but I can't <laughs> throw a pillow at chat, now can I? <sighs> mm -hmm. What am I gonna do with you? I don't, I don't know. know, I'm in a I'm in one of those moods today. <laughs> You're in a bulking mood. Or throw pillowing. All what's left now is just drawing the legs and um, the hands. Then refining the details of the ink. And then we should be on our merry way and take a break. Which is not a bad idea, you know? Again, yes, please take it easy, take your time, and take breaks if you need to, Miki. Time, take breaks if you need to. Let's see, um, Bell is already a gremlin, if if I know Rack's crazy inkling. Who the flying handbasket is Bell? Hmm. Huh. That is an excellent question. Chats, do you know this one? What? Who the, um, Chad is mentioning a name called Bell. Oh, it's an Octoling character that my friend Rack has. She's kind of a nutter. Um, I think I'll go as far as to make the details of his shoe right here. The rest is going to be a little bit obscured from the body. Now, I know this, sound, this looks weird, but this works out because uh, it's not the main fo this leg is not the main focus. I hope. Okay. <coughs> oh, from the Pyromancers. Oh, and thanks for the high and thanks for the um care package, Lord Law. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay. Chad mentioned, wait, cheesecake? Oh, I am now suddenly craving for cheesecake. Ah, uh, cheesecake. Mm -hmm. What? Do you like cheesecake <clears throat> or not like cheesecake? I actually don't mind cheesecake. Quite oh, nice. Good. <clears throat> I am, I'm honestly not yeah. fond of cheesecake. Could never, Danica! could never get into it. Hey, Danica, what's up? Uh, not much. Uh, what about you guys? We're just talking. To, we're just talking about cheesecake. Currently in a firefight. Currently trying to draw a Shad's commission. Ah, nice. Mhm. Mm Speaking of, I need to check my DMs and save the reference images for the one that just got, that someone just bought me. Actually, so thanks for reminding me of doing that. I don't know why I said it all like that. There was no reason to use that tone. I don't. I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes we do stuff without needing a reason to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, it don't be like that, though. They really do be like that. Okay, so let me go ahead and save this there. Now, I know it looks a little bit weird, but the main chat is going to be covering up the rest of the other Sona, so... That's one less thing to actually worry about here. I'm so lucky what I'm seeing. Okay. Da. And now let's um, lower the ink. There we go. Okay, um... Uh, 
Let's see. Do not let the house gremlin eat cheesecake. Me cheesecake. Um. Do not wait. Do not let the house gremlin me cheesecake. Whom's, whom's the fiddle is cheems? Whom's the fiddle is cheesecake? One of the pyromancers, oh. if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> yep. Uh, um, mm. particularly the definitely the pyromancer's equivalent of the house gremlin. Hmm. Ch Chaos incarnate. Although, why would they call themselves Cheesecake? Because why not? <clears throat> Indeed. I'm actually trying to find this now. I... Is it bad for me to say that I'm actually curious yeah. to see why? Oh, wait, I found it. Um, want me to send it through? Yeah, just look up the pyromancers, you'll find them. Oh, thanks for the hot pack. Of course. Don't, I don't know if you guys are going to catch the Game Awards, but if you're expecting a new game, what would it be? Um, probably something from Sega? I mean, they, they did send out... Oh, sorry, they were they teasing out, something. Yeah, they sent out those letters. Particularly, people noticed that a lot of those letters went to fighting game people, so my bet is on Virtua Fighter something, personally, but it could be something out of the... It could be something completely out of the box, you know? That's just what I would predict with the knowledge I have Frankly, at my just... disposal. Frankly, I'm just Frankly, wishing... just... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, from frankly, I'm just waiting on all these companies which are waiting with their big patch releases for the Game Awards to be over to get it over with so that we can actually get our patches rather See, than... See, I'm... See, personally, um, I don't know. I'm probably not actually going to watch the whole thing because nine times out of ten, the reveals get put online and... I was going to watch out a group of friends, but that kind of fell under, so... Aww. Mm. Um, it's not anybody's fault. Uh, tech issues got in the way. Uh, that said, Rogue Trader did release today. That... What is that? Oh. I don't oh. know what that is. Dart, uh, 40k Pathfinder. Yeah. Uh, huh? The, that uh, yeah. thing? Alright, yep. right, then. Alright, let me try it, and elaborate. That... I okay. was watching a friend stream that on the other server. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll let you go ahead first, Annika, actually. No, I wanted you to elaborate. That's what I was... Uh... All right, cool. Uh, so, are you familiar with the Pathfinder t um, <coughs> uh, games? Uh, PC my, games? My co-writer has made me aware of Pathfinder as a concept. Uh... Right, so basically, there is a game studio called Alcat Games, who made two effectively... You made two games based on Pathfinder First Edition. First one's based on the Kingmaker module, and the other, and the second one's called Wrath of the Righteous, All right. which is like the Pathfinder equivalent of I think it's kind of like a Descent into Avernus, but I don't know enough about the module to say that with any certainty. You bet. You basically go ahead and fight off a demonic invasion. That's the best way to explain Wrath of the Righteous. So, Alcat Games basically have used the same engine to create a a Warhammer 40k based fantasy game where you play as a rogue trader, having just inherited a rogue trader dynasty. For those of you who aren't aware, rogue traders are basically these ultra-rich merchant empires within the Imperium of Man who basically have these deeds that give them the freedom and permissions to travel across the galaxy and do effective all, almost anything they want other than commit heresy against the against the Imperium. Heresy for the Imperium, that's negotiable with the Inquisition. Okay, with you totally lost me. Port. You totally lost me, dude. <laughs> basically, the original... The original game that started off the 40k universe was at, was the original 1980s version of the tabletop rogue trader. This is essentially a modern interpretation of rogue trader based on the Alcat Games Pathfinder engine. Okay. So yeah, basically a Pathfinder-esque RTS set in, it's in Warhammer 40k. Alright. Ink, Inkling Master. That's one. Okay, third one. Dan. And now let's go and 
No, wait. Fill this thing up. Okay. Maybe it's just me, or, but the eyes look a little bit on the wonky side. Uh, because she job. hasn't put the eye mask the Inklings have on yet. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm asking needs to be there. Don't yeah, worry. like it's so like when you make an inkling, you're so used to seeing that mask. Unless that's like, is it a mask for them, or is it almost like something natural, like a natural pattern, like how raccoons are? Well, it's a natural pattern, but it's more or less called a mask. Like it's not it's not like designed to hide their identities. It's just part of what they're it's part of their it's part of what they are, you know? It's part of their natural biology. Okay, um Yes, they're part of their natural biology. I know biology. Your, your biology, like uh My See, dude, I mispronounced just... it on purpose because it's funny. <laughs> See that just reminds me of the few uh, times I've been, I've been paid to draw Splatoon stuff, and I've had to look up the fucking, like, teeth anatomy of these damn things. They are like, a little bit difficult to draw because they're just so different from people and so similar at the same time. It's kind of frustrating. Uh, it's also because I, I don't like Splatoon, so I know very little about it. Okay, how's this, this though? I just think that's funny. What do you think of this one, though? Is it a little bit better? And we're also gonna bring back, um, Shad's, I mean... Okay, that's three down! Also, Lovely. out of curiosity, Shad's, hmm? for their inkling form, what is their choice of weapon? It... Currently Umbrella, but I'm thinking of giving him a Splatana in time. Hmm. Wait, that's a thing? Yeah, yeah. Splatoon 3. It's basically a windshield wiper, but a sword. Mm -hmm. ah. And it's actually really freaking awesome. Oh, that reminds me. How are the salmonids in that game now? Because I know that they did Ooh, special. Oh, yeah. They're a, lot <laughs> they're a lot better and a lot worse at the same time, because they're better in that, they're in that their AI is better, but that means they're harder to go up against. Mm. Perfect. Because I really like the Salmonids. I loved playing Salmon Run when I did Splatoon 2. Oh yeah, you can you can do Salmon Run any old time now. You don't have to wait for the weekend. Finally. Yeah, so I that just... <laughs> I remember. I remember that shit annoying the fuck out of me when I actually yeah. did play Splatoon 2. Was that like I never played Salmon Run because it was like on that fucking time schedule shit, and I'm like. Do you sure. just expect me to put a time aside in my weekends to play fucking Salmon Run? Is that what you're expecting? Like, yes, actually. Unfortunately, that's how modern words. games rely on you to try and force you to drag as much time into it as possible. <coughs> I know! I hate, uh, I hate I was master rank on Salmon Run in that game on Splatoon 2. So... Like... You good? I have also discovered something incredible. I never want to hear anyone make a single comment about my stretching noises again. <laughs> <laughs> I also no, because like ev mm -hmm. every time I stretch in like a VC, everyone's all like, hey, Danica, you sound so lewd. And it's yeah. like, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, it's great, buddy. Miki sounds like <laughs> like she's nervously trying to avoid saying something, something from her internal thoughts, okay? Oh. We all, we all sound weird when we're stretching. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, that's how. I wasn't okay. gonna. That's I, a new one. <laughs> do you you want to hear a loose sound when I stretch? Oh no 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 Oh. You don't know what you're doing here. I have discovered something rather annoying from the Ubisoft side because, uh, obviously, we've well, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You discovered something annoying from Ubisoft? Is it a day that ends with Y? 
<laughs> Sorry, carry on. Had to get that one out of there. Uh huh. So, carry on. so from what I understand, need the third-party account linked to Ubisoft, which would be fine because once upon a time when I bought the Rainbow Six Siege Vegas 2, I had created an account. Having looked back through my emails, I see now that my account was deleted for inactivity despite owning a product on it. Right. Now, gr now granted, I did rebuy Vegas 2 on Steam anyway, so I haven't technically lost the product. I've just paid for it twice. But still, what the fuck? That's a bit, that's a bit weird. That's a bit, uh, that's a bit Yeah, that's a, that's a bit, what's the word? Oh yeah, fraud. Yeah. I was about to say, that's a bit, uh... That's, that sounds, uh... That sounds illegal! I'm Honestly, that's, pretty sure it is, uh, but given that I don't I have... Like... Given that I don't have receipts, and it's not worth me chasing down. Yeah, I just think that's... I'm just sitting here like, I'm pretty sure that is not entirely legal. It's not entirely legal, but they'll do it anyway, because apparently, if you think, if you say it loud enough, products are apparently a service rather than, you know, <gasps> a product. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Hold on, hold on. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go. Yes! Yes! Hold on, hold on. I need to, uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, give, me okay. give me a second. Let them focus. Let them focus. I got this, I got this. Uh, give me the, go, go in, go in, go in. Let's go, baby. Come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Anyway, oh, I'm going to go take my leave now for the evening. I'm going right. to go get myself get more of a rest up. Yep, I'm almost one. there and I'm almost there on the healing, so. Good. Hopefully, I'll be. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, I'm going to go. So, I'm going to go rest now. All of you have a wonderful good evening. Alrighty. You, you go to rest now. Shit, shit. Okay, I need to pull this up. Uh... Stay out. Okay. Put that. I think I'm gonna go as far as to make um TF2 shads, and that'll be it for the night. I'm gonna, uh, but I will do SMG4 shads, and I'll do flats from. Ah! Oh! Oh! What? Okay. Hooray! Ooh. Hi. Ah, oh, fuck. Hello. Hey there. Touch me. We are currently doing a, uh, we are currently doing a stream. Well, I mean, we're currently doing a commission. <coughs> and... Well, that's okay, you know. But uh, well, that's okay if it's just you. Your welcome here is still um, if your welcome here is still valid. I hope you actually enjoy course. your time here. Ah, okay, I sometimes forget how loud. My raid alarm could actually be. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now for my right. favorite era of the Shad, uh, of the Shad series. Is it really your favorite? Well, right, yeah. Right. I mean, this is how this is the era that we actually got to know each other and became best friends ever since. Oh. I did. I didn't. I. It's been so long. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> you know, what's one thing I would love to do again: do more TF2. That would be nice. Um, especially uh -huh. when it comes to, well, how should I say this? Especially when it comes. To, I want to. I really wanted to play more uh, Man vs. Machine again. Oh, may I introduce you to Potato.tf and Pineapple.tf then? Huh? They do custom man versus machine campaigns, and they are absolutely bonkers. Huh. And Tachi, huh. Ma and Tachi Man, thank you, thank you so very much for the, uh, thank you so very much for the follow. Thank you. Where is this guy? I'm actually, um, you know what? I, color me, in, color me curious for this one. I want to get, uh, um, how, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bizarre but fun are these custom man versus machine runs go? 12. Oh! Wow! Okay, now I'm curious. And side! 
Anyways, um, I still, uh, this is still my favorite era when it, I'll say this again. This is my favorite era when it comes to the chat, um, when, when it comes to, um, the, when it comes to your work, you know? Hmm. Reminds me so much when it comes to my, uh, of my previous stand-ins. Which, um, I'm not gonna, which I'm a little bit hesitant in showing to chat now that I think about it. Mm. Just... I mean, I mean, I am willing to share, unless, uh, I'm willing to share if chat is okay with this. Mind you, this is a bit, mind you, this is very old and this is coming from a time period that, well, um, show any way, show away, and I'm more curious. Well, okay, since yeah, y'all asked. You asked, you asked for it. Yo, God damn it. Okay, my mother told me you are not it. I'm not showing this to chat. No, no, I am uh, not showing this to chat. I'm not... Oh, damn it! Fuck. You got, you got this, Danica. I know. I'm just sitting here like fuck. Wasn't fast enough. What are you? What exactly came up that warrants such alarm? Uh, uh, it will trigger the page of how how to lose your Twitch affiliate 101. Ah. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Literally. There it is. The Th there <laughs> it is. Um. Wow, this really feels a little bit slightly. Um. <laughs> Great! Look at the size of those hands. Well, that's TF2 models for you. You know. Literally went out of stock while I was in checkout. Fuck. That is unfortunate. <laughs> my my ass over here. Here it. My ass over here com committing physical Olympic gymnastics trying to pre order Sora Amiibo. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that is my previous um, stand in when it comes to the land of good old get uh, of, of my Gmod era. And um, I use a the have... and, and it's a reskin of a. T of, um, it's the Fem Scout model. Yeah. It was reskinned from Fem Scout. Yep. Listen, I never participated in Gmod content because back when I was growing up, I didn't have a gaming PC. But Lord above, did I indulge so much in that shit. <laughs> I mean, that's the reason why a shadow showed up in the same call as me once, and I lost my damn mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think we all I knew grew that. up in that I era. Knew that. I knew that motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, you get back. I was like, you get back over here. <laughs> And like, you also lost your shit too when you what when I said when I greeted Gonzo into the chat. Yeah, no, I can well, remember my I remember like I remember mindless Gonzo stuff, I remember Shadow stuff. Fucking I mean, it's definitely homie, a good time. Homie, let me tell you, the fact that to this day I still fucking Hold on, I'm trying to word I'm trying to word this because I know what I'm trying to say. Like the fact that I still quote like fucking old ass like Gmod videos, parts of them like their quotes are just part of my regular vocabulary. Like the like if you've ever been on my streams, there are moments where, I, where like if you've ever wondered why during my streams, whenever I'm trying, whenever I'm having one of my weird deep dive rants and I need a random first name to pretend to be angry at, I jump to Brandon. Uh, there's a reason. Oh my. <laughs> Shoes are less scarpe. Wrong! That means boots! You're a boot. No, you're a boot! <laughs> you're both get boots. Now get in the pit! Your mom's a boot. <laughs> I don't get it. I did. 
<laughs> I just hacked your mom. Wrong! My what? mom has a firewall! If you understood the term leap, you, under you, under you know that I passed the firewall! <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna lead hack you! Hack you! Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's Xavier 3.10, we taught! Uh, take me back to my Xbox. Wow, I've only experience. been in the class for three minutes and already something gay happened. <laughs> ah. Suddenly I, I miss kidding. I, I, uh, yeah. Uh, would... I'm bad. Would... Mm, sorry, you can Tee. go. <laughs> I was gonna say, speaking of Kitty07 stuff, I distinctly, like, that was a lot of the Gmod content I took in back in the day. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> I still consider like Team Fabulous 2 one of the prime examples of how TF2's fandom is special. Yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. We definitely. Please tell me you've seen the reanimated project. Oh yes, I have. Yes. Fucking, I love how Sir Pelio was a part of it. He's only in it for like a minute. <laughs> it's the funniest shit. Uh, I guess it means that. It's off to topic, but mm -hmm. this is completely off topic. But I shared a picture of Daisy in the in the chat. She's oh, taking a epic. nap. Oh, that's epic. I'm and suddenly, now she's here with me. You know, I suddenly want to watch that again after... Well, I feel like watching that again. I'm most likely going to do that um, as soon as I'm done with this... Um, uh, when, when I'm done with this stream. Oh, goodness, gravity. Um, It's almost six. Huh. Yeah, it is. Well, hmm. it's a good thing that there's no game today. But I did promise Ruby we're gonna hang out later tonight. You know, every time you say Ruby, I know you mean Runia, but I always think of my OC Ruby. <laughs> I honestly don't blame you. Which, by the way, I have neglected. I've neglected drawing Ruby. It's been an it's only been two months since I last did her, and she was in costume. I really want to draw more content when it comes to my girls. Especially when regarding to, um... Rose, maybe Violet, as well as, um, Dione. I know Steve will definitely let, um, want to see more Dione content. He's biased. <laughs> Dave, you're also biased when it comes to Ally too. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a laugh of understanding. <laughs> so I'm most likely gonna cheese something when it comes to um when it comes to the sol the soldier shads. Oh. I know that soldier shads is using a um. A, is using a jacket that contains a zipper on it, but just like what I did when it comes to Luke, I'm gonna cheese it and just use a brush when it comes to the teeth of the zipper, because all there right. is no possible way for me for drawing all of that individually that will cost me my life and sanity. And I don't like. Please, if you if you have an easy route to take, please take it. I really do not expect, you know. I don't expect you to break your back over this, or you know what you know what I mean. Just please, again, keep taking your time with this. Well, there's a reason why we go for the um, the quote: um, "Work smarter, not harder." And this also hmm. applies to um, Clip Studio Paint, where I know that there's some people who would give a lot of flack when it comes to this program. That this is. To some people, they say that they it, it's kind of um, cheesing their way when it comes to drawing their co when it comes to drawing comics or art. To that, I say, n please, n yeah, no. Clip Studio Paint it actually ha is one of the um, better art projects out there, especially when it comes to comic making. That it can actually be beneficial. There's a thing. Did you mean to say art programs? Well. The point still kind of stands. And going into the yeah, yeah. asset library is like the equivalent of going to the Garrus Mod work or SFM workshop when you need a model or a map. That is true. So, I actually am happy that they have um, a, a library of other assets for me to pick. 
But um, when it comes to 3D models, especially when it comes to maps or or assets that contains backgrounds, if you actually um, if you actually found a way to manipulate it to the point that it's like um, similar to your art style, or at least flip it around and tweak it. Then it's still gonna be passable, you know? Don't be lazy with the assets. I mean, it's like the equivalent of getting a model or map in Gary's mod, but you you but you didn't actually utilize it properly. Mm-hmm. Or, or you're missing some of the textures. Or that you have this um or you have this um thing called the animated uh um, this the stop motion helper, but you don't know how to properly use it. And good lord, I just been reminded that um, mm. it, Chad, it, it it has been over six million years. I can feel the rust creaking in my veins. I definitely need teachers when it comes to this. Say what? She's referring to Gmod. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you need if you need the help with it, then you know. Well. well I ask because um, maybe somewhere down the line next year, I'm thinking about. Um, hmm? Is it Ram? I I I I I, uh, I can't explain. Defend yourself. I forgot where I I forgot where it is. This is why you keep your food in front of you, hun. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, I'm not giving context, but please. I will do so. Okay. Also get in the raid. Um, yes, dear. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I'm trying to say is that um, somewhere down the line next year, I want to actually do a Gmod stream. Okay. Yeah. Like getting myself back into gear and actually how to Gmod all over again because it has been a very, very long time since I've done Gmod. Mm. And I want to do a little bit of, uh, I want to get myself into the working gear and how to animate proper again because I know the tools that I loved has been updated since, um, since I last properly utilize it back in 2019 that that that's how long it has been you guys that how my last gmod video that you saw from my main channel is um ancient by the standards mm, it's been a while it has been a while and um i actually wanted to act to do Gmod again, you know? It's just that it ha I, I just need uh, the proper guidance. Huh? Hmm. Tom. Tom's outside? Yes. He came back? Yes. Ah! Aww. Uh, Get her. For context, Tom is like the community cat that likes to come, that, that roams around into the, uh, into the neighborhood. And um, he's been coming to our place lately because I couldn't help but spoil him a little bit. Lee G, I wonder why he's coming back then. No, hold on a minute. I'll have you know. He's I not have, wrong, hon. I have a I have a weakness for cats, and especially when it comes to stray cats. I could, but I also know that Tom is um, a community cat, meaning that he belongs to somebody in the neighborhood. So he usually has a place that he can go home to every now and then. Okay. Alright. I'm almost done with this. Almost. This thing is, um... Alright. <clears throat> Hmm. What's up? I'm just trying to do a thing. <sighs> I'm trying to do a thing. I'm gonna do the legs. Oh gods, please clip! Don't you dare freeze in me. Okay, I'm I'm saving. I'm Save, saving. hun. I think the sooner I finally get that new computer sorted, the better. Mm-hmm. 
As yeah. soon as my family member has healed from their COVID, we will head over, hon. Sorry. Two. But I will say this. I thought I got all of my parts um, sorted, but it turns out um, mere moments ago, into the, mere moments ago, Steve actually got something in the mail, and it turns out that I'm actually got, got one more part sh um, d shipped directed to me, and it's the, what was that part again? The CPU cooler? The power uh, supply. The power supply, yeah. I thought to myself, I thought I got it. Oh everything. yeah, power supply. Yeah, oh yeah, power supply. That's kind of important. Well, I actually glad that the power supply came. I'm not gonna take a gift horse in the mouth, but yeah. Okay, down to seven. So I got all of my parts now. This, I mean, they should be. Maybe I should definitely take a look at my Amazon a bunch later and see what else needs to be done. Just mm. to be safe. <sighs> but I will say this. Um, in case things go tits up, though, I may have to end up biting the bullet and trying my hand and building the PC myself. Despite I have no knowledge in doing so. Like I said, my cousin does know a thing or two, so he might be able to at least message you. You think so? Yeet. <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't mind. I'm doing good, but hurt. I have twisted my leg, but relaxing watching Fast and the Furious 6. Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry that you actually did that, that to your poor relaxing. leg. Well... Watching a movie is nice, but make sure you don't strain your legs too much now, um, since you got hurt, okay? You need time to actually heal from it. What leg did you twist? Was it your ankle, your knee, or heaven forbid, your hip? I hope it's not the hip. I, in, in fact, I, wait. I don't know which is worse, you know? Twisting the knee... It. Well, here's the thing. The knee is one of the is one of the places where you can get hurt the where it hurts the most. But at the same t but at the same time, the hip is also really crucial. There's a reason that you have to get hip that uh, when you get hips replaced as an old person, it's it's painful. I that's a that's a terrifying thought. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm almost done with this soldier boy. I'm almost done with this soldier boy. Don't I'm make just... the joke. Don't make the joke. Crank that soldier boy. <laughs> it's like somebody says the word soldier boy and then you end up it's like you end up with, like, that Yu-Gi-Oh card where it's the two castles and the fork in the road. And it's like, yep. it's like Soldier Boy. Crank that is the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shinji, crank that Soldier Boy. Because, <laughs> like, it's either Shinji, crank that Soldier Boy, or insert clip from the boys in which Soldier Boy walks through the forest and says, What are you two cocksuckers doing in here? <laughs> I still don't want to see Maxor's video now where it comes to that, what he utilizes that- Ultra remote. kill? Yep. Shinji, uh, crank that soldier boy. Ah. His fucking <laughs> newest video on Cruelty Squad is the quickest way to fry your brain because you don't know when the Maxor ends and the Cruelty Squad begins. You know, I really need to find that one sound effect uh, that's been going on in, in, the, in the horizon as of late. What sound effect? Ah! Uh. Did you know that apparently that's like uh. that's like the noise of a dude sneezing or some shit? What? That was that was a thing? 
Apparently it's like reversed audio of a dude sneezing or something. <laughs> Man, that just sounds funny to me. It is. Um, personally, out of all of Max Horror's videos, the one I come back to like often are, are like the two-part DMC5 video he did. Like, there's a reason I'll jokingly go Nero and his new partner, Roman numeral 5. <laughs> or the joke from that same from that same two parter where V's like, I just hope that Dante is actually doing his job and not fucking around with motorcycles. Then it cuts to Dante fucking around with motorcycles. <laughs> okay, my Emerald Marine, you take care now. Thank you for coming. I have a good one, Hannah. Bye bye. Yeah, you have a good one. All right, I'm almost done with this. Almost. We are just in the um, refined ink stage where we're polishing up before we actually start putting in the base. As much as I want to do the, um, the SMG Mario, I'm getting tired. No, again, please. I implore you again to please rest if you need it. Please. Aw, I appreciate it. This is one chunky commission, but not as chunky as the one that, <sighs> that came before it. Speaking of chunky commissions, I gotta get back to one to one that's been holding me up on my queue. Hmm. I think I'm gonna refer the your Shads. I know hmm? I, I I truly appreciate that you enjoyed the hard work I did when it comes to your previous commission in the back, but I'm still gonna refer to that one as the behemoth. <laughs> behemoth. I mean, am I wrong? Not really, no. I mean, okay, for context, chat, this is, oh, well, sorry there, fellas, but I'm going into a Oh, tunnel. no. There we go. It's, good, it's a good thing I ate my chocolate before the gremlin got here. Well. Ah! Yeah. Hello, Gremlin. Hi, Gremlin. Yes. Ah, look at that. How can we just keep back from doing from doing um shenanigans in the other bedrooms? Wait, what, what? did you do? How can we didn't do anything bad? Gremlin, do I have to get the hammer? How can we just decide to put all the paper paper, paper towels back? <laughs> Them back? Why'd you take them in the first place? What did you need all those paper towels for? For ammunition launcher! Um, what, what? what? Why were you launching paper towels at people as ammunition? Testing out the tab! What? Wait, what? the tab is a weapon? The tab is a weapon? Ah, how come it actually now needs to... But it turns out paper towels make terrible um, ammunition. So the toilet paper will have to do. But again, why are you making a weapon? Ask him in one still. Gremlin? What? Gremlin? What? We have a bribe for you. What? I will give you dark chocolate if you if you discombobulate the weapon. Do we really want a tempter like that? Hey. No. <laughs> oh, there goes. Oh, I just give it to you. <laughs> you see. I actually do enjoy that. Thank you so very kindly. Shh. Even Ooh. give it to you, you head. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! Oh! Oh! Gunk! Oh, Wow. 
Why would you do this? I... Do you need a hug, Gremlin? I give you the- I give you the head pass. Thank you. Thank you for this. Ah, turn out to provide it this way. This is new kind of chucky. It has peanut butter in it. No! Huh? Gremlin! <laughs> oh, there she goes. Fuck. Let's see what this does, I guess. I'm not feeling anything. Give it a minute. What the? <laughs> What's going on? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Can someone explain what's going on? Oh, she has lost her body. Uh, I'll get it on. I have, this is what this is why May hand is useful. You just grab her and gently pull her down. Come here, guys. Oh, that's not Come have the chocolate milk grip then. Oh, you're literally a floating head this time. Ah, ah. Wait to stay! Hey, gr hey, Gremlin, wait to stay ahead of the curve. Ah. Oh. But you really gotta get your head in the game. Ask him and have another. another one. Maybe you should quit while you're ahead, Gremlin. What did you do? Gremlin, don't set the place on fire. Catch you guys later. See you has put Skittles inside Bucky. Oh, sweet. I got like... I assume you mean the, the upper pockets, because the bigger pockets are where my guns are. So, thank you. What? I'll catch you guys later. Don't tell her where the guns are. You're gonna... She's gonna steal them. Where Whoopi is under your guns are. And, ah! It's almost shut down! It's just time for new episodes! Yeah. The gremlin was into abs. Then again, she is. Then again, she does take traits from our innkeeper. She does love abs. Also, when I rushed over, I rushed over here. I scared Gracie. Ah, why would you do that? She just, she was sleeping in the hammock. I know it was cute, and I feel bad. Ah. Hi, Grace. The gremlin, the gremlin, the gremlin took some, the gremlin, took, the gremlin got some dark chocolate, then, then got hit with a pillow, and okay. she vomited. Where's my ring? Ah, okay. My personal dissertation ring, so. Okay, always have one prepared. Ah, it's a Gracie. She oh, a there's a kitty. Mm -hmm. Steve brought in tribute, and that's a tribute is a cat. Aww. See, 
this is what happens when you actually... I think, remember chat, um, use your pillows wisely because, you know, you don't want to have some accidents happening in the end. Okay, so... Okay, ink... Oops. Ink Soldier Master. And... Now this soldier boy does not have a ma um does not have the symbol on his hat, right? Of course. So it's just gonna be there for the time being until I use a brush for it. What type of accident? Well, you saw what the house gremlin just what happened to the house gremlin just now? When she just ate chocolate, somebody heated uh, put a pillow to her direction hey, that caused her to vomit. Pretty sure she got hit in the stomach, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yes, Jexa Dragon? Mickey Gremlin became a floating head. Ow! Oh, that's a terrible thought! Yeah, she was given Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> I thought it would make her expand. No, wait, that's caramel chocolate. Yeah. Okay, that's four. Although, although this does give me an idea. Nah. So suppose someone gave her a, a Reese's, another Reese's cup, but it was almond butter. Oh. Bro, no! It's just a thought. Anyways, um... I want to continue more of this commission, but I'm getting tired. But yes, I did get yourself some rest. I did get actually rest. did plenty to, with this one, don't I? Oh yeah. yeah. I just need to do one more, and then I'll take care of the rest from there. It's looking great, Miki. It really, really is. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Now, let's see. Who should we raid today before we call it a day? Hmm. Mikami's who's, on. Let's see who's live on my end. It looks like... Uh, how do you feel about raiding some... Well, oh no, they're playing Fortnite. Never mind. <laughs> um, looks like Jeff McBiceps is live. Oh yeah, it has been a while. So, why don't we actually go ahead and raid them? Raid him, you know? Feverbanks is also live too. He's currently drawing a a live 2D model. You know, how about we actually go ahead and raid um Fairbanks? So we're gonna go ahead and get this message done, situated. There you go. And we are now preparing the raid. I truly appreciate that you guys came by here today and watching me draw this commission. Although it's not done, we actually did a good chunk of it today, and despite all the chaos. So, yeah, I truly... Hmm? You, again, I'm loving how it's coming out so far. I'm glad. And tomorrow, we're gonna get ourselves um, into more adventures when it comes to the... Um, Judge's Bizarre Adventure 7th Stand user. You guys are in for a I totally, for that. Which I totally want to be there for. <laughs> and afterwards, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the stream for this week. There's gonna be more streams for this for next week until I go for my two for two week vacation. But until then, may y'all have a good night. May y'all eat well and rest well. And I'll see you guys next time at the Paper Plane Inn. Take care! Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good night.